Morning number two. It's cold. Well, it's not cold, but 48 degrees. A lot colder than it's been all year. We're just pulling into the ranch. There's a bunch of elk out just off the county road running into, running into our ranch. We're gonna be hunting. We can hear them bugling from the vehicle. I forgot my rangefinder and binoculars, so going back to the old days before I had all that stuff, we'll see if I can guess the distance right, but we'll be okay. All I know is we gotta go, it's already getting light. There's a second bull right here. That's uh, five bulls we've called in in two days. Just not the bull we're looking for. Wind swirling really bad in here. We could have popped him right there about 45, 50 yards. But they're quiet today, but the wind's whipping something terrible. But that's pretty awesome. Could have shot him. Oh yeah, he's right there. Cute little three-year-old bull. We are called 
these other bulls. We got a big growler bull. I don't know how big he is, but he sounds big. He's coming. He's coming, dude. There's nothing cooler than that in the hunting woods. You sure it's a 505? Huh? Trouble.
sees trash on his one side. Yeah. Easy, we don't want to spook this bull. Just call that bull in the three yards. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. About to stop. Over the next couple days, Jeremy and I hunted extremely hard, but with the temperatures rising well into the 90s, the bulls were really shutting off during the middle of the day, and we were only hearing bugles early morning and late evening. Finally, on our last evening there, we did see an unbelievable once in a lifetime bull. We had him coming in, but for some reason, right at the last second, he decided to turn away and leave and we just couldn't make it happen. Well, awesome first few days of hunting. A heat wave has absolutely rolled in. It's supposed to be in the high 90s today. It's hot. The, the elk shut up. I got work to do. We still have over a month of season left. Uh, we're going to pack up, head home, uh, get some stuff wrapped up, and get back up here when it's a little colder and the elk are playing better. I know that sounds crazy. Amazing elk hunt. But they... Uh, They've absolutely just shut off. So we're going to come back in a little bit. We're going home. Thank you. 